Excellent. Good. Real quick, is there a key matchup here to this series? Uh, you've learned a lot about these guys. Is there a line or a group or something you got to slow down or stop? Uh, you know, I think both teams have depth uh, throughout their lineup. I don't think that we're a team uh, who necessarily needs one line on against uh, one of their certain lines. Uh, you know, I think everybody's pretty capable, and I think that's something that, uh, you know, hopefully as the playoffs go on, we're able to show and uh, exploit a little bit. Um, they obviously have some talented players and some, some players that can make some plays, score some goals. So I think we have to play the right way and just limit their chances. This division was, you know, close all, all throughout the rest of the regular season. There. So there's not much of a difference in, in between teams. So how, how are you able to just look at as we are just as good as them even though we're a four seed? Well, I think we have to just focus on us. Um, when you play teams 12 times throughout the regular season, there's going to be bad blood, and you're not going to win every every game. So these past few, you know, we would have liked to win, obviously, but um, it's something that's in the rearview mirror. We know we can beat this team. We're a very confident group with the stretch that we had. We feel like we're playing good hockey, and I think that's the most important thing around this time of year. How excited are you for the intensity of the playoffs because it goes up a couple notches once the regular season? Extremely excited. Uh, I've been fortunate to, to play some professional series um, in the East Coast League the last couple of years, which I think has really helped myself in my game. Like you said, it's it's a different level. As you see at the NHL playoffs, some crazy things happen. Uh, it seems like there's a whole new level of physicality to the game, and I think that this series can be no different. How important is it to the development of your personal career to get this playoff experience so soon? Well, it's huge. And, and huge for the rest of our guys. Um, like I said, I've, I've been fortunate enough to experience some, some series um, in professional hockey, and I've never had a series in the American League, but I expect it to be ramped up um, as much, or if not more, than, than the ones that I've seen. And in terms of personal progression throughout my career, I've been playing on uh, some good teams, and in junior, we were fortunate enough to have a, a long run, and that's something that I still look back at as a major turning point in my career, in a sense, in, in terms of my development. So, uh, extremely excited for the opportunity to do that. There's going to be some healthy scratches. There's going to be some guys not getting as much ice time or on the same lines, situations like that. Is it uh, e easy for these guys to check the ego at the door kind of thing with this group, you think? I think we've had a fantastic group, um, starting with our veterans, guys like Lance Boma, Cody Franson, Jeff Glass, uh, et cetera. Those guys have been up uh, in the NHL, you know, some longer than others, but they've, they've been around and they've checked their egos at the door and they've really accepted the roles, the leadership roles that they've been thrust into. Uh, you know, obviously they would like to be in the next league and they're very capable players. I feel like they should be, but they've really bought into what we want to do. And I think when you look at a guy like Cody Franson in the room, who's taking on a leadership role and, and helping us out uh, along the way, then it's easier for a guy who, you know, maybe is used to a little bit more ice time or some better situations. It's easier for you to bite your tongue and accept that everybody's going to have to take less. The past two games are pretty high scoring for both teams. Is that something you're expecting for this series, or were those just kind of fluke games? I'm honestly not entirely sure. Uh, we hope to limit their chances. You know, you think that playoffs, it seems to be a little bit tighter checking, and there aren't as many goals. But then in the NHL, sometimes you see blowouts and um, you know lopsided games. So anything can happen. I think we just have to focus on the little details. We've got confidence in our goaltenders and uh, also our ability to score. You guys have scored three goals a game. How are you guys able to keep that offensive pressure on teams and, and do you expect to do that again against the Wolves? Absolutely, and I think that's a testament to our depth. Uh, we're not necessarily looking at one guy or one line to score goals. It, it's done by committee. I think we've had a good power play the last little bit. We've get our, got our units back together and uh, our second unit in uh, the last game was on fire as well. So I think everybody feels a little bit of pressure from the next guy, you know, um, in terms of wanting to step up and I think that's healthy on the team. You mentioned there's a little bad blood brewing between the teams having played them a dozen times. How hard is it to kind of toe that line in the playoffs between, you know, physical play and not wanting to cross over and cautious? Defense? 
Well, it's difficult, and that's something that I think we've struggled with a little bit as a team, honestly, is, is finding that line. We've been fortunate to you know, be able to grind some games out uh, when we've been in the box. We we're, we're obviously had to step up on the penalty kill, and our goalies have given us a chance, and that's something that I think will be a point of emphasis for us. You know, they have some guys that are looking to stir some things up too, so hopefully bait them into, into some penalties so we can work on the power play. You talk to your brother at all? Yeah. Yeah, I've been texting him. He's back at school now. He's enjoying his, his senior spring, if you can call it spring right now. So. What does he talk to you about uh, playing it or how to expect, what to expect in it? Or are you going to talk about it at all? Yeah, we, we've discussed that when he was up in Chicago and I was fortunate enough to be able to see his first game. It's been pretty special the uh, last couple months that he's had. And I think he's made a really good transition. The guys have been unbelievable to him and accepted him with open arms. And I think that's something that's huge for his development. And I think you know it's something that we can look for as motivation to hopefully be together up there at some point next year.